Hello and welcome to the SciFest Movie Talk episode. So in this episode, I'm discussing the 2012 DreamWorks animated animal adventure sequel, Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted, as directed once again by Eric Darnell and Tom McGrath, who follow from the previous two movies in the series, with Conrad Vernon also joining them for co-directing duties this time around. The movie sees us catch up with the same band of animals who had originally been marooned on the island of Madagascar, who then later tried to escape back to New York only to find themselves stranded in Africa, which is where we now meet up with them once again, longing for the sights, the sounds and the smells of that Big Apple. While the penguins are away on their honeymoon uh, in Monte Carlo, along with the monkeys and the superplane built to get them home at the end of the last movie, the remaining animals decide to take matters into their own hands and this time around swim across to Monte Carlo themselves, where they meet up with the penguins and the monkeys who are now presenting as the high rolling king of Versailles, minting it in from the casino, living their high life. Alex the Lion as voiced by Ben Stiller, Marty a Zebra as voiced by Chris Rock, Melman a Giraffe as voiced by David Schwimmer and Gloria a Hippo as voiced by Jada Pinkett Smith lead the charge to get the Penguins to take them back to New York. However, their plan goes a, a bit astray uh, when they are pursued by animal control operative by the name of Captain Chantel Dubois, uh, Dubois sorry, as voiced by Francis McDormand, who makes it her mission to capture the animals and frame them as trophies for her collection, especially Alex, with whom she takes a particular interest in acquiring. Our friends take refuge as performers in a travelling circus, only to end up as its owners, only to then find out that the acts are going a bit still and many have lost their love for the show. Seeing the circus as it were to get back to New York, the animals instill some newfound enthusiasm into the acts and look to put on a show like nothing anybody has ever seen before. Well, outside of perhaps Cirque du Soleil. Making lots of new, colourful and vibrant new friends along the way. And indeed, perhaps, finding out that there is simply a bit more to life outside of the walls and the cages of the zoo. So... What an absolutely wild riot once again. Here we have the most zaniest group of animals one could ever hope to meet on their most madcap adventure yet. We literally throw any form of common sense out and realism out the window here with a guilt-free, non-stop neon cavalcade of humour, adventure, friendship and utter adulterised nonsense in the best possible way. The movie, um, well, this movie, you know, it ends up being a true kaleidoscope of colour infused fun as the animals' non stop party continues, bringing one tremendously feel good adventure as they cause chaos across Europe and beyond. For me, this movie has a really vibrant energy that is depicted within the animation, music, and storytelling, with a real passion for the characters as they are bound on yet another fun filled adventure. Somehow the hapless bunch swim across from Africa to Monte Carlo, not even this time around bothering to show us how they actually got there. But that isn't really the point this time around, and really this allows for the European vacation just to start all that little bit sooner. But yes, don't expect too much to actually make much sense overall. It is just simply all a bit of nonsensical fun, meant with the biggest of hearts. Francis McDormand as Dubois is simply brilliant, uh, is simply a brilliantly twisted addition to the cast. The Terminator of Animal Control, a true character you love to hate, and the addition of the circus animals and the circus in general provides a very warm and welcoming backdrop to another chance to instill the sense series messages of family and friendship, when, which in this instalment becomes more than the backbone of the movie, but, you know, also serves to speak to the animal's character and emotional growth as they have developed over the course of their adventures. Most of the comedy this time around is more slapstick and uh, outlandish, but therein lies its charm. It doesn't try too hard to ever be anything other than an adventure. It is the one that makes the least amount of sense, but Indeed, I think because of it, it becomes the one that's the most fun. 
of course, way over the top. A, a jailbreak movie with a twist, you know? I mean, it's absolutely crazy and obvious with it. The film doesn't care. And that's what makes it such a fantastic ride. It's a real zappy and peppy animation that carries forward and builds on these wacky characters, bringing their antics once more into frantic focus. The characters once again are brought with tremendous fun and attitude, and it's great to see them all, you know, kind of all back together once again for what is, at the time of this review at the very least, their perceived final outing together. It certainly lets loose, you know, and even gives more screen time for some of the other characters, especially the penguins and, and monkeys, who once again make a great double act of bringing their own band of kind of sarcastic wit and mischievous antics into the mix. The monkeys masquerading as the King of Versailles is simply hilarious and provides for some great situational comedy, and as it gives them the means to kind of interact with the human world around them, and they make it look good. I mean, it's probably about on the same par as the original in terms of quality, with a bucket load more energy and craziness to pull it through. The music and the film soundtrack is also simply superb. Hans Zimmer again returns once more to pen the score, which again is wondrously charming and upbeat, very reminiscent of his early works for the series, with an energy to match that of the film's overall notes. And to top it off in all of a blaze of neon light infused exuberance, we have an amazing, vibrant and uplifting circus show set to Katy Perry's hit song Fireworks, which just sets the film apart. Absolutely rousing, totally inspiring and a total crowd pleaser for sure. Overall, I think the film's motto is certainly don't ask too many questions, it's a bit of harmless fun, family fun at the end of the day, you know, and absolutely fantastic for kids. Crazy as it all is, it still has a big heart and a strong ambition. Spectacularly uplifting and totally inspirational. Absolutely magical and a true kaleidoscope of animation, sights, sounds and heartwarming friendships. This movie is a vibrant end to our friend's journey with lots of antics and mishaps along the way bringing their journey around full circle and to a satisfying and energetic conclusion. Absolutely crack -a to the mack -a So, this brings me to the end of this episode. Many thanks for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. Please do hit that subscribe button for more movie reviews, trailer reactions and other movie-related content. Absolutely loved having you at South First Movie Talk and definitely love to have you back. Most of all, just thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.